Did you cut your hair again? Huh? Ah, so that was a wig earlier. Uh, what was that silliness about my hair grows fast? Jade's sarcastic personality must be rubbing off on you. He must be talking about Ash. What kind of excuse is my hair grows fast? Maybe Ash isn't as bright as we thought. Um, that guy who looks like me with long hair. His name's Ash. Do you know where he went? Hmm. Is he your twin or something? In a matter of speaking. Ash would pitch a fit if he heard that. Yes, sir. Something like that. Did he say anything? I think he was headed for Surrey Hill. He was asking if he could still get inside. Is something going on? I'm on my way to my son's place. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? No, thank you. Shuri Hill, huh? Shall we go take a look? Yeah. Say, Luke, are you scared to meet Ash? A month apart and you can still tell right away, huh? Well, yeah, we've been together for years. Guy, are you okay with the way things stand with my father and Hod and all? If I said I wasn't, would it change anything? Well... It was war. Plenty of other people suffered just like I did. At least I got to hear what really happened in the Hod War from the people responsible. Isn't it more productive for me to make sure something like that never happens again? It sounds like you've been able to put your past behind you. I still have some lingering feelings, but it's not like there's any way to change things. You're so mature. <laughs> That's my Count Gylardia. Th thanks You're still not used to it. Sorry, it's just when it happens all of a sudden. Luke, let's go inside, okay? Yeah, I can't keep saying I'm scared. Even Guy conquered his fear. Are you making fun of me? The God Generals are dead. The Oracle Knights are being reorganized. All units should be on standby. If Ash is here, then maybe it was by his order. Ash was removed as Commander of Special Operations for breaking military procedure. I have a bad feeling about this. Let's go inside. Hand over the key of Lorelei. No. Major? Your reaction was slow, Tyr. I taught you to respond even in unexpected situations. Major, you're alive. How did you survive that avalanche? Arietta's monsters rescued us. 
We couldn't protect Commandant Grants because of our injuries in that avalanche. But the world is on our side. This time, we will realize his wish. Like hell you will. Ash, next time we meet, I will take the key of Lorelei. I can't believe they're alive. They must be trying to fulfill Van's vision for a replica world. Ash, are you okay? He's as unfriendly as ever. Did you know Legretta was alive? It's not just Legretta. It's possible all of the God Generals are alive. But Sink fell into the core. If he's alive, then Van could be too. So you were investigating the core because Master Van could still be alive? You're sure taking things lightly. If you were connected to Lorelei, then maybe it's just my phonon transformation. Ash, hang on a second. What are you talking about? What do you mean then, when Lorelei said to set it free? What did that mean? Exactly what you heard. Lorelei is trapped. Trapped? Where? Is it bad for Lorelei to be trapped? The total volume of seventh phonons in the world will drop. When that happens, the planet storm will grow stronger to compensate, creating more seventh phonons. Wait, that means the core's vibration will get worse. The Tartarus alone won't be enough to stop it. Which means the miasma comes back? This is seriously bad. Ash, where is Lorelei trapped? Lorelei told you. Try to remember. Even without this, I'm already cleaning up after you. Don't cause me any more trouble, you useless replica. You don't have to talk like that. Shut up. Hey, wait. His Imperial Majesty wants to talk to you. Uh, the way he stops listening when he gets mad reminds me of a certain someone. But what does this mean? If the God Generals are creating the Replica world, then Replica creation would cause a large consumption of Seventh Phonons. Or is trapping Lorelei somewhere also part of the plan? And what's that key of Lorelei that the Major was talking about? Could it be the same key that Yuli is said to have used? Ash probably knows. Let's go after him. He looked like he was hurt. He might stop in St. Bina. Yeah. Luke, stop looking like that. Cheer up. Looking like what? You look like you're about to cry. I'm not going to cry. Right, right. Anyway, pull yourself together and let's go. Yeah. Lorelai's voice made sense to Ash, but not to me. I guess I really am just a replica. Hey, it's the Colonel! Well, hello there. Perfect timing. Jade, has Ash been here? He's injured. No, I haven't seen him. Even if he had come, I don't think he'd get any closer once he saw this. There sure is a big commotion. Did something happen? Malkuth's Kesedonia regional forces were attacked during training. This city is still under reconstruction. We're carrying the wounded to the capital. What? Who would attack the Malkuth Imperial forces? Exactly. Until recently, it would have been Kimlaska, but... 
Natalia would bite your head off if she heard you say that. Well, then it'll be our little secret. The Colonel looks scary, but he's a fun guy on the inside. No, he's scary on the inside, too. Jay, we've just received word that Frings was wounded. Frings? General Frings? They've already transported him to the capital. Understood. Jade, if you're going to Grand Kokma, we'll take you. Oh? Why? Well, we owe him one from before. I'm worried about him. I see. I'll take you up on your offer. I need to have him explain the situation to me. Colonel Curtis. Everyone. Are you okay to sit up? If I lie down now, I won't ever open my eyes again. Don't say things like that. What about the military healers? I was under treatment until a short while ago, but they said it's too late. No. Colonel Curtis, please convey to His Majesty the identity of the attackers. Understood. I'll... It was approximately one company, carrying the banner of the Kimlaskin Royal Forces. That can't be right! They took out our flank with suicide bombers, using 5th phonon based phone tech bombs. That's not the sort of tactic a national military would use. Correct. The majority of them were poorly equipped. Only a few had military uniforms. Their flag and some equipment was Kim Laskin, but I don't believe they were part of the royal military. <gasps> Colonel, we need to get him to a bed. No, if you can, please take me to the sanctuary. But... Let's take him. This is his final request. I heard my birth score for the year here, but it didn't mention falling into the cliff off. The world has left the path of Yulia's score. A future not written in the score. It's so frightening and so free. Free? Yes. I wish I could have lived in this world just a little longer. They... The ones who attacked my forces, I don't think they were with Kim Laska. They all had empty eyes. Like they were dead. Right. Neither King Ingobert nor Natalia would ever break this treaty. Master Luke, please, don't allow war to start again. I won't. Yulia, please bring happiness to this world that has lost the score. And to her. A world without the score isn't free. It's just scary. Maybe that's how you feel, Annis. But General Frings was trying to find a way to live in a world without the score. My brother was wrong. I'm sure of that now. There was at least one human being who was trying to escape the score shackles. But General Frings was killed and we don't even know who did it. I'm going to see His Majesty. If you don't mind, Luke, I'd like you to accompany me. Me? That's fine, but... Hmm? You don't sound very happy about it. I don't really feel comfortable around him. Why? He's really rich. I have to report about Ash myself. Let's go together.
I see. So Aslan has passed away. Yes. I would like Luke to inquire within the Kimloskan court regarding the matter. Luke, could I get you to do that? I wonder if they'll listen to me. What are you talking about? You're King Engelbert's nephew. Are they picking on you for being a replica? You can come live here with Guy Lardia if you want. Your Majesty, please don't make inappropriate jokes. I was serious. Oh, well. Luke, have confidence in yourself. You formed the peace treaty between Kim Laska and Malkuth. Yes, Your Majesty. Okay. I'm counting on you, Luke. Now, all that's left is Ash. Yes, just as Your Majesty thought. He knew that the God Generals were still alive. He also appears to be aware of the growing planet storm. If I may ask, Your Majesty, why are you searching for Ash? A witness reported that he has the key of Lorelei. We think it may be possible to use it to suppress the planet storm. Oh yeah, Legretta was saying something about the key of Lorelei too. Yes, I wonder if they're looking for it as well. But according to Guy's information, the planet storm's heightened activity is the result of Lorelei being trapped somewhere. Perhaps we should understand that situation before concerning ourselves with the key. You can hear Lorelei's voice too, right, Luke? Has it said anything? Yeah, I can. But I haven't heard it since we lowered the Outer Lands. What did it say then? Um, I'll send you the key. Save me. And then something about one who would seize glory trying to capture Lorelei. Luke, why didn't you say anything about it before now? What? Well, I didn't get what it meant. How could you not? If Lorelei said the word key, anybody would think of the key of Lorelei. Yeah, not to mention Van. Van? He couldn't have known. Luke doesn't know ancient Hispanian. Oh, that's right. We only taught him what he needed to know for daily life. What are you talking about? The ancient Espanian word for one who would seize glory is Van de Stelka. Van was absorbed by the planet storm. He'll have ended up at the core. Are you seeing Master Van trapped, Lorelei? That's what Ash thinks. Or rather, that's what he heard from Lorelei. But Master Van's already... No, we don't know that. If Ash is right, then Sink is still alive. And Van could be too. Luke. You didn't get the key of Lorelei? No, never. That's strange. Lorelei said that it would send the key, and apparently Ash has one. So where is the other key supposedly sent to Luke? We have to find Ash. He knows more about this than we do. I've got a bad feeling about all this. We know something's happening, but we don't know what it is or who's doing it. Yes. But let's start with what we can confirm. Were the Malkuth forces attacked by the real Kimloskan military? That should be easy to check. We'll investigate as well. Jade, pursue Ash once you confirm Kimlaska's activity. Gylardia. Could I continue to assist Jade? Worried about your childhood friend? Something like that. Very well. I'm counting on you. Then we're off to Batical, huh? I'll send a letter to Ion, so wait at the entrance of the city for me. A letter? Now? Oh well, let's head to the entrance and wait. Did you send the letter already? Yep. Now, let's go to Batical. Hmm? Tear, you don't look well. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I was thinking about Van. I never thought he could be alive. Tear. I'm a terrible sister. I should be happy that he's alive. 
But I'm scared. When I think about what he was trying to do... If Master Van is alive, then you can ask him about all of your doubts. Right? You're pretty good at spotting silver linings, so long as it's someone else's cloud. Yeah, well, I'm sorry it still bothers me that I'm a replica. I have a feeling I know why you don't feel comfortable around His Majesty. What are you talking about? If you haven't realized it, then don't worry about it. And what are you grinning at? Oh, nothing. This conversation just brings back memories. How so? Dist hated His Majesty, too. Don't you dare say I'm the same as Dist! Natalia's back. We could really use her help. Did you call me? Huh. What are you doing here? I just returned from inspecting Chesedonia. Actually, I was just wanting to speak to you. My, my. As unconcerned as ever, I see. Perhaps you can explain just what's going on. The kingdom of Kimlaska Landvaldir has taken no military action against the Malkuth Imperial forces. Ah, that's what I thought. Ah, oh, that's what I thought? Don't you have anything more to say? Everyone in Chesedonia stared at me like I was the devil. It was insulting. Don't tell me this was all just some show of Malkuth force. That's what we've come to talk about, Natalia. Could you get us an unofficial audience with His Majesty? Certainly. Let's discuss the details in Father's room. I see. So that's what happened. I have issued no orders to attack Malkuth. Indeed. My country is innocent. Then who was it that attacked General Frings? He said that the eyes of the unidentified soldiers were like those of the dead. That concerns me. Does that mean something to you? Similar cases have appeared in connection with Fomacry experiments. With the God Generals involved, it's possible that they have created replica soldiers. Replicas? This is an outrage! What could they gain by using replicas to impersonate my kingdom? Perhaps they're trying to cause a war between Kimlaska and Malkuth. That's no different than Moe's. That's right. Dis took Moe's away. If Moe's is involved, he might be trying to restore the score by making Kimlaska and Malkuth fight. Father, please allow me to go to Doth. Why Doth? After our journey, I spent a long time thinking about the score. The world has veered from Yulia's score, yet countless people still live bound by it. Yeah, it's scary not having it. 
I believe we need to hold a summit regarding what to do about the score. Whether this incident was Moe's work or not, we cannot allow any further foolish action in the name of the score. And to do that, we need the cooperation of the Phone Master. Yes, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, we don't know where Ash went and we don't know where Moe's is either. Hmm. Then I shall permit your departure, Natalia. Thank you, Father. So we're going to Doth. I think we should. We need to inform them that my brother may still be alive as well. I told them that in my letter, so let's pass, okay? What, you don't want to go home? No, it's not that. Okay, then we're off to Doth. Luke, take care of Natalia. Yes, Your Majesty. You sure seem to like reading. These books all look so hard. 
It's quite enjoyable to learn new things. For example, Master Luke, do you know about the history of Batacool? Um, it was built in a crater made from a large phone stone that fell to Earth, right? Yes. Now, as it happens, this area was once known as Hispania. Here it comes. I hate history. Hispania? I've heard people talk about ancient Hispanian before, but... Yes, indeed. This is the very same Hispania. Hispania was destroyed by King Julius of Kimlaska. Kimlaska was still a small country, but in defeating Hispania, it took its place among the world's powers. Huh. At the time, both Kimlaska and Malkuth were vassal states. The Malkuth Empire began during the revolution of ND-468, when it declared independence. So Malkuth and Kimlaska could have ended up parts of the same country? That certainly is a possibility. History is funny that way. In any case, lay people this well-versed in history are a rarity. I'm impressed. Well, I may be a lay person now, but I was once the protector of the Guardios family. Oh yeah, Father was talking about letting you retire when things settle down. Yes, it's been a pleasure serving you all these years. We're going to take him in at my place. You can see him again when you come visit me. Don't look so down. Yeah, I guess. I'll leave this book here, Master Luke. Please feel free to read it if you're interested. I will. Thanks, Pear.
Everything works. Bring forth the things of the mighty dragon. Don't neglect the enemy from the world. Ground Dasher!
Well, this is a surprise. Did you come to visit my Rapigs? Adorable, aren't they? We'll save your majesty's Rapigs for another time. Guy, if you would explain. Me? Why do I always have to explain things? Professor Nebulim, huh? My dad was still on the throne then, so I don't know much about it. Anyway, I'll get the Intelligence Division to submit the information. I'll have it sent to your office, Jade. Um, do you hear something? Yes. This sounds like phonon interference. Now that you mention it... It's the first and sixth phonons! That's odd. It's coming from somewhere in this room. Maybe it's a phonon bomb. Hey, that's not funny. Come on, let's look for it. This is it. The sound is coming from this sword. It looks like it's reacting to the shadow sword we have. Tyr, would you use a phonic seal on it? What is this sword, Your Majesty? Old McGovern left it behind when he retired from the army. I collect weapons, so he left it here for me. Jade, do you think this is one of the planetary phonic art catalysts? I presume so, but to call this mess a collection... Did you say something? Not at all. Incidentally, would it be possible to borrow this sword? Hmm. I suppose that if those three cute girls begged a little... That's a fine case of sexual harassment. Okay, then you guys do it too. Go ahead, Luke. But me? Please lend us the sword. Next. With all due respect, we would like to borrow the sword. Next. Emperor Peony, you're so handsome. Can we please borrow the sword, pretty please, with sugar on top? <laughs> great, great. Just wait until you're six years older and I'll date you anytime. Whoa, he sure changed fast. Please lend us the sword. Oh, that icy smile. Yeah. Me too? Um, your majesty, would you please allow us to borrow the sword? Oh, that hint of naivete. Yes. Your majesty. Shut up. Don't beg. I'll puke. Now, now, Your Majesty. Please allow me to offer my most sincere request. Nope. Leave. How unfortunate. We'll be taking the sword, then.
Colonel, some documents have been delivered from the Intelligence Division. Thank you. Now, let's see. What do they say? There's information on the Professor's life, the incantation for the planetary phonic art, and, uh, a map. A map? Yes. This looks like Mount Roniel. It seems there's a phonic glyph beyond the mountain which reacts to the catalysts. Now that you mention it, Professor Nebulum did go to Mount Roniel a lot, didn't she? Whoa! What's the Emperor doing here? His Majesty pays unannounced visits to the Colonel's office frequently. Well, that explains that. Well then, shall we head for Mount Roniel? Not yet. It would probably be best to wait until we have all of the catalysts. By the way, Your Majesty, it seems that there are quite a few sections missing from these documents. Apparently somebody took them without anyone's knowledge. Dist? Probably. Does it say anything about where the rest of the catalysts are? Unfortunately, no. Only that they came in pairs, and that the McGovern family had one. I guess we'll just have to find them the hard way.